Hello, Goggle Froggers. Morning. <coughs> Why am I coughing now? I hope you're all well and I hope you've had a lovely weekend. Um, aren't, uh, aren't we lucky? We've got Robert today, which is lovely. And we've got the beautiful heart just behind him. <laughs> well, and his beautiful picture. How are you today, Robert? I'm good, thank you. I do believe this is the last day of your... Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't want to go back. No, no. We don't no. want you to go back, but we're here today and we're going to have a lovely time. So hope that you've got a nice drinky pools with you. So I've got a hot bimpto and I've got a cup of tea. And I've got something else in another cup. I, I thought I'd bring what I collected yesterday whilst out for a walk to show oh. you. What is it within a few steps of my house? I brought that as well. And I hope you've got some knitting. I've got my simple stuff because I'm about to start the pattern stuff again on the um, on the scarf. So what have you got? Oh, oh, Robert, what is that? So this is, um, so for those of you that didn't, uh, catch Saturday's Facebook room. We are uh, we we talk through what this is. I am testing a new pattern, and I hope it'll be ready for Saturday. But I don't think it will be because I've still got quite a lot to go through. What was uh, that? Uh, this is um, Highland Collection. Is it? No, this is the Wild Ones. Is that the blood orange. the orange, the blood orange? Oh my word, yeah. that's gorgeous! Yeah, I've However, got a stain of that that I need winding now because I love that pattern. I, I mean, the pattern is beautiful, but I, I I was trying to explain to Gary last night. He said, "How?" Uh, he said, "How do you not know you haven't got enough?" And I went, "Well, because nobody's done the pattern before." I said so nobody will know how much they need until it's done <laughs> until i've done it and that is gorgeous. I don't get it. but is, anyway. and you're knitting oh, yes fabulous and I, and i'm going to say the same thing i said on saturday it's a very simple pattern however on saturday i did a row and then had to frog it all <laughs> <laughs> oh i know i know that feeling but i can i just like to say this is what happens. We know what the wools look like when they're dyed, when they're in a skein. And then once it gets changed and put into a pattern, so many different patterns change the wool entirely because the last one that you did was quite, um, it, it was, it, you could see the repeat, shall we say, because it had square sides. Um, but that, you're seeing, oh, that is beautiful. I like that. So um, I, I'm thinking in my wild one, and my I think I've got some through in as well. I've got several bits. Um, I think I need to do a work day in one of them. Which wild one have you got? You had a yellow and black, which you did a knit night in. No, that that was that was that was a goggle frogsy one. Um, I've got I've got. Oh no, I may have given you it back. I'll have to have have. No, honestly, I think I brought one back. I don't know. I'll have a look in my. <laughs> I'll have a look in the tea chest. Right. Let, let let's have a bet now. She still has it, and she's forgotten that she used it. No, I haven't used it. <laughs> I think you have. No, you the absolutely one, hated it. No, the yellow one is the one that needs frogging. That's that's in that's that's in the picnic basket as three quarters finished, waiting to be frogged. Uh, but I know in my in in the tea chest, I know I think it have I got purple? I'm out of purple. Have I not? Unless you leaked <laughs> one without me knowing. No, I'd never do that. <laughs> I don't pinch. But I do say, is it all right if you have this one while it's on the phone? That's not pinching. <laughs> no, I'll have a look and I, I will double check. But that wool is beautiful. And I, I now see that the 
I think you took an Iceland. To... Iceland, yeah. It's the and Peruvian. then gave it back. Huh? And then gave it back. Yeah. Yeah. D did I? Yeah. Right, that's fine. That's so that's fine. Peruvian. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Uh, but I think it looks beautiful. Um, and I think you've absolutely cracked what that wool looks best on. And it is, if you made a triangle scarf, it would look beautiful. Um, I think the one thing too, um, that's where it really shows the whole blend of the wool. And a, a regular scarf that is just two ways. Um, it was still nice, but that's beautiful. Um, and I think that's where it's like when you get these um, these yarn cakes, they give you a bit of a pattern as to this is how it's going to show it best. Um, so, yeah, that's beautiful. I love that colour. The colour looks so different to what it used to look like. Look at me. I've, I've now cast on about 40 and I only need eight. <laughs> Two, four, six. No, I did 10. Right, let's sort this out. So, no, good morning, everybody. You've just heard us. We couldn't even get through good mornings, rules, everything, explaining stuff without talking about what's on the needles. Uh, so, now I'm in love with the blood orange. Uh, I bet there's none left. Never mind. Um, <laughs> I'm not allowed any anyway. Um, and it's um, episode show 298. Can you believe it? So It's not. It's not. It's not. Yeah, because we, we had to go a bit out of sync, didn't we? I think that's supposed to be 289. We weren't due we weren't due 300 until the 10th of November. Oh, right. Okay. okay. And we are a couple out of sync now. So I think that's supposed to be 289. We'll sort it out. Anyway, we've done quite a few. We've done quite a few shows and uh, lovely to see you today. And um, we're going to read out the chat if you're new. Uh, that's because the people on replay, hello, replay, hello, YouTube, um, you're not going to see the chat. So that's why we read it out. Please feel free to say where you're watching from. And please share what, you, what you've got on the needles today, what you're drinking this morning, and, um, and if you had a really good weekend as well, just let us know what you were up to. Um, we've got a Facebook group and we're going to show some of the hopefully lovely pics in there um, later in the show. And that's Goggle Frogs, Craft and Natter. So please join there if you haven't already. And um, yeah, so um, I don't know what else we normally say. Sorry. I had a day that's off it. on Saturday. <laughs> Chat box, swipe to the right if you're on a phone or a tablet and then swipe left to come back to the room and i don't know anything about that because i don't go on apps very often i always get in the right model when i'm on a webinar and i have to put a comment in the chat box and i think oh dear um <laughs> so anyway good morning everyone shall we say some good mornings mm -hmm. so hello Safi, um the queen of pom-poms and the reason why I say that is when it came to lockdown, she put lots of pom-poms hanging from all of her trees in her garden to cheer people up who walk past. So um, good morning, um, Safi. <coughs> good morning. <coughs> Sorry. Good morning, Louise. How are you? Lovely to see you. Good morning, Janice. How are you? Lovely to see you as well. And hello, Georgie. Long time no here. Hopefully you're well too. And good morning, Brigitte. How are you? Hope you? Hopefully you had a lovely week away and you're all refreshed and enjoying life yet again and uh, back in the buzz. And hello, Anne. Lovely to see you. And finally, hello, Amber, across that little pond. And hello, Princess Curtain Crusher. Um, Splodge is outside. Splodge will be saying hello. Um, yes, but Splodge is out and about. Oh, and we have Bex as well. Yay! And Toph is in his new hiding place. Where's his new hiding place? Under the kitchen cupboards. What? Oh, yeah. my word. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Random. Cats can be random. <laughs> Wait, I tell you something. Um, like Splodge has now. Uh, look, 
this is a, a, a knitting knit and natter, but we talk about all things, don't we? So Splodge has now taken to sleeping on her, um, uh, uh, what is it, um, sheepskin rug in front of the fire, whether it's on or off. And I will put her food down and she just won't move. So I then put it on a little bit of um, paper and I put it right in front of her and she will stretch her neck and eat her food and then go back to sleep. Um, and I thought, hmm, I'm going to have to do this in front of Alan because he was sitting in the same room. So I picked it up, put it right in front of her. And I thought it would have said, why are you doing that to the cat? Anyway, I said, oh, didn't say a word. So anyway, um, Splodge is making me work now and move her food to in front of her face uh, because she's a bit tired on a night time. I can't be bothered to get up. So um, who's got who wrapped around their fingers, eh? Hmm. Uh, so anyway, yeah, the crazy cat people that we all are. Well, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Um, so um, Brigitte, good morning. Lovely to see you. I'm just going through chat now. Safi says, good morning, all. Absolutely lovely to see you. Um, Louise says, good morning, everyone. Um, from Misty Darby. Can I just say, Safi? You put a post on about something going on in Leeds. I have no idea what it was, but it looked absolutely amazing with all of those um, pictures, lights, you name it. Um, so I am originally from Leeds, uh, but I don't know what it is. So please let me know if it's still going on um, because I am going to be in Leeds tomorrow. So um, yeah, let me know. It looked amazing. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Louisa says, good morning, everyone from Misty Derby. Um it's not actually misty here, although it could have been first thing this morning. Um, who knows? Because I didn't actually get up until about half past seven, quarter to eight. Um, and Judge says, good morning. Uh, Brigitte says, apologies, it is 289. Is it fabulous? Fingers were cold and mistyped. Um, I never know what show it is. So thank you for reminding me, everybody. Um, Amber says, Good morning, everyone from Princess Curtain Crush, and a huge good morning to you too. Um, Safa says, currently working, but I've been on sewing, but I have been working on sewing in ends on my Ubuntu. Oh, wow. I remember you sharing that when you got that and started it. Um, and Safi has extended it. It, as it wasn't quite the size she wanted. It's going to be a gift for her daughter's new home. How amazing. Can't wait to see the pictures of that. And um, as Safi says, ha ha, crazy cat. Um, and Brigitte says, what is an Ubuntu, please? Um, Safi, if you can possibly reshare the pictures of when if not what we'll do when we go to facebook we'll try and put in the um search bar ubuntu and it should bring that post up from before but um yeah it looked fab hmm. so i've done a few stitches but i thought i'd let you know i went for a walk yesterday me and my mum went for a walk and um you know how it sort of live well, I don't live, I'm only like one and a half miles from Lake and Buzzard, but I do always say I live in the middle of nowhere. So we live, it, it's a hamlet. Uh, the Methodist church that was here is a little house, and it is a little house, because you can imagine when there's 29 houses, there's not many people, <clears throat> uh, there must have only been about 20 houses about 100 years ago. Where was, where's that? Um, as you just go on the bend, there's a little car, there's a little house on the right hand side. Oh yeah, I know. That was yeah. the Methodist Chapel. Oh, um, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's tiny. So anyway, um, we, I always say we live in the middle of nowhere because it does feel like that. We don't even. They even removed our telephone box. Um, so anyway, I uh, went out the other day and one of the neighbours has created this lovely little, uh, it's like a tiny little mini shed for us all to put our whatever we have, uh, for if it's tomatoes. So somebody put in their bay leaves and sage the other day and then people from the hamlet just go and help themselves. So it's really, really lovely. So and I just made this lovely little thing so that we can all put things in and it won't get damaged by rain. So we went down the lane to go and see the two pigs. 
Oreo and um, cinnamon. So as we got to the um, fence, the two pigs, I'm not joking, I never realised that pigs could run quick enough, uh, that quick. They came bounding along. So we went into the field and started feeding them these um, apples. And I will actually put a post of the little video. They honestly, they were lovely. So we we're giving them a little pet. But then down the road, like this is a few hundred yards from where I live. And I have no idea what these are. Like, what are these? They're like little apples, but they're bright red. And the whole um, tree is just full. Uh, they look like a cherry, but it feels like an apple. So I don't know what they are because mm. we've got crab apples down there, which look like a normal apple, like um, green and red. But these are just, you can see, they're beautiful red. So if anyone knows what they are, please let us know. I haven't bitten into it yet because I thought I'd show you first. So they're beautiful. So we picked one of them. And then my mum picked lots of these, rose hips. So you can make a ro rose hip syrup, can't you? Right. From these. So we've got lots and lots of little rose hips, and we'll go for a little walk up again. And then there's a little apple tree. So I picked a couple, and I ate one. And they're really nice apples. So I'm going to go back today because this is um, – actually, it's, it's slightly different – uh, so anyway, they had lots and lots of apples. And mum says, oh, look at all them up there. So I'm going to take my mum's walking stick with us so I can pull them down, <laughs> the branches down and get them. And also, I'll put a few on the ground because we've got lots of little monk jacks, monk jack um, little deers and things around us. Um, yeah. And then as we were coming back, mum says, oh, is that splodge? Like black cat. I said, no, that's not Splodge. That's her friend. That's the male friend who lives over the road in Graham's. Uh, so this black cat who does come and sit with Splodge in the back garden. So uh, that was within a few hundred yards of our house yesterday. So, wow. um, yeah. And we haven't been to see the emus yet. So we're going to see the emus and the wallabies because that's the that's three houses that way. Um, so we've got emus and wallabies. And, um, yeah. And, and there's also, I think I've mentioned these before, but there are these chickens that they have. So down, down the road next to the pigs, they've got all these chickens. And there is a Transylvanian chicken and they have bald necks. So part of the, the front is bald. The whole neck is bald. And they look as if they've been sort of pecked, but they're, they're not. That's just the breed. Um, so as soon as we arrived, they were all sort of, you know making their noises then the goats realized that we were there so the goats started um so we'll go a bit earlier today <laughs> and then as we're out walking uh, you can probably tell i love all animals <clears throat> and i was walking down the 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 street and um all of a sudden i saw a worm and i thought oh i always pick a worm up if it's on the path and put it on the uh, on the um which call it um, on the grass. Anyway, I went to pick it up and it was all like hard. So it obviously died. But as we were walk, walking through this field, there was a chap with his Labrador and his son. And you could see this Labrador was like this looking. I mean, hello then. Well, this dog practically pulled its owner over as it bounded towards us. This guy's trying to keep up with it. Honestly, this dog was so excited. It was quite hilarious. He said, oh, sorry about that. He said, oh, it's okay. So he's trying to pull the dog back. Uh, so we might go out at the same time so we can see it again and go, hello, and make sure that this dog is even more excitable. <laughs> I might even put some treats in my um, pocket today. So I anyway, know we, we actually had a really fascinating half hour. We didn't walk very far, but we saw some lovely things. Oh, so, um, yeah. Oh, so that's that. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, so Safi says, go, sorry, going back. I do it every year. Unfortunately, it's only a two-day event. It's called Light Night. Try to remind you next year. It's a fantastic evening. It looked amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, so thank you for that, Safi. I will have to keep an eye out on what's happening in Leeds. Um, yeah, but it did look great. 
and then um Seth says it's going to be a gift so can't put a photo up yet okay that's fine we get it but here is the link to the pattern photo and uh oh hello marion hi marion good morning i've had a rough night with ollie he's had an upset tummy oh no poor ollie giving um ollie big hugs and you big hugs because you've had to clean whatever up mm. um so hopefully yeah it's a it's a it's it's a shame that you can't just put like um a nappy on them can you but you couldn't because that'd be even worse to try and clean up so um <laughs> sorry that's my mind working over time <laughs> um, <laughs> everybody's now got this really weird picture in their mind so come on angela let's get back to knitting <coughs> <laughs> i know um, so i've just taken you around the world in like 10 minutes of i don't know crab apples god knows what else so anyway hopefully you've all had a lovely weekend so how was your weekend robert um yes had a really nice weekend thank you we went into london on saturday um ran out of time to go to the theatre. Um, you ran out of time? Yeah. So you didn't go to the theatre? <laughs> no. Oh, wow. No. Um, so we had afternoon tea at the Ivy, um, which was gorgeous. Was it good? Um, it was Alice in Wonderland themed. Um, and, uh, yeah, very, very nice. Um, and then we just went for a bit of a wander. Um we went into a gallery and I'll explain more about the gallery when we get to Facebook because okay. I posted a picture on there. Um, and then yesterday I spent the whole day uh, baking Christmas cakes. So my house smelled very uh, fruity, alcoholy and spicy yesterday. And I'm not finished because I'm supposed to be making homemade mincemeat this year, but ran out of time yesterday. Or should oh. I say I was too exhausted yesterday. Um, but I have a question, um, and I'm hoping you can help. So in the mincemeat recipe, it says to use shredded suet. Yeah. What's the purpose of the suet? It gives... Um, <clears throat> when when they bake... So when you put the mince pie in to bake, that, that suet is like um, an oil, and it then gives releases moisture so it, it makes it <clears throat> okay. not dry because it says to either use shredded suet and i was thinking well i'd use if i was going to use suet i'd use vegetable suet huh. or i can use grated butter yeah and grated butter sounds nicer but grated butter is going to be a mess to do isn't it um, no, because you have to freeze the butter and then grate it. <clears throat> yeah, if you do it quickly, it's 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 not that hard. Um, suet is always um, the easier one to use. Okay, because um, what what they do, and the other thing, if you use butter, um, suet is is grated lard, fat, beef fat, whatever it is. Um, and then it's it's rolled in like wheat flour, so it doesn't all stick together. So if you grate your flour, you've got to try and apply a little fine flour to the outside so it keeps individual. Because if not, you'll put it all in the mincemeat and you'll have massive great clumps in it. Um, um, I, but I think I will just go back to suet then. <laughs> it's easier. Um and it, it's just one of those annoying things that if you're gluten free, then you can't have anything with suet in it because it's always put in wheat flour. Um, <clears throat> but, 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 but last year or the year before, Marks and Spencers did their own gluten free mincemeat. Um, and if ever you've got mincemeat that is out of date, never, 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 never throw it away. Just open the top when you want to use it. Put in a few tablespoons glugs of, uh, well, not loads, but just a, a couple of big tablespoons of alcohol. Stir it up again and it will start to go moist. It just dries out, that's all, so it just needs more moisture. And the best thing to feed it is alcohol, um, as it is with all of us. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> so, the yeah, 
suet vegetarian or normal the um i just you can use any type i do find that the gluten-free um suet they, they they always try and make it vegan gluten-free and everything um so it tastes of absolutely naff all um and is really really gloopy as well so um yeah i i don't quite I, i've never found a gluten-free suet that i like yet but I'll okay right so marion's saying it's also preservative thank you um safi says vegetarian so it might be easy yeah i was going to use vegetable um because i was a bit put off by the make sure it doesn't have any blood on it in the recipe and i was like no, no, there's never blood on it ever honestly don't worry <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Helen says good morning Hello Helen uh, Hello. Anne says she has the flu So not cu knitting currently Well good morning Anne And hope oh, you feel better soon Huge hugs You poor thing Anne I had this um, I think it's a flu bug going round isn't it It's flu season It's cold season We all do our lateral flows We know it's <coughs> not the other <coughs> But um, I hope you get well soon <clears throat> can I ask you the question? When you have Yorkshire puddings or when you make Yorkshire puddings, do you use lard or dripping? No. Are you sorry? Is that a question to the room or is that a question for me? Well, to anyone, yeah, to you. Oh, okay. I was going to say I don't make Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I buy them. Okay. <laughs> But a lot of them are done in beef dripping. And even like if you buy like chips in beef dri dripping as well. So it's it's just beef fat. That's all it is. I don't know why it said make sure there's none of that in it because you won't find that in a Natura pack. <laughs> so, but use whichever one you're comfortable with. <clears throat> Helen um, says she's been using Aunt Bessie's. I. Uh, Actually, there is there is a um, Anne doesn't like beef dripping. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> um, I, I'm just so old school. I've got lard in the fridge. <laughs> I buy. Does anybody else like mucky dripping? Well, this is a question for everybody. Do you know what r mucky dripping is, Robert? Yeah. Do you like it? Because if you're from up north, how many people have mucky dripping on toast with the sprinkling, sprinkling of salt? <laughs> okay, right. Good morning, Jackie. She says, morning all, back to work today. Georgie says, Nick uses hot olive oil. Uh, Safi says she just uses oil or white fat for vegetarians. Janice says she has a mega, had a mega cold. Oh, bless uh, you. Or whatever it was last week. Nasty, but not COVID, so that's fine. Um, Safi said we did when we were younger. Uh, Brigitte says no dripping for me, mucky or not. My papa loved it on bread. I, I still buy it. I still have it. I, I go to certain butchers in the north, and whenever I see it, I, I buy copious amounts, especially when it's coming up to Christmas um, for roast potatoes, because there's nothing quite like it. Um, in mucky dripping. Um, uh, Marion says Richard loves dripping on toast with a bit of salt. <clears throat> yeah, it is quite amazing. Um, Anne says used to have it as a child, but went off it working in a kitchen has look, looked rancid. Yeah, I know. Um, and Helen says duck fat is good for roasters. Yes, it is. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so right. that's me and my northern roots. I just think the older I get, the more the more I am going back in time with my eating habits. So, uh, um, yeah, music. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, please. That's okay. It's I've decided. To, I've decided it's going to be um uh an uh. A halfway point thing now. <laughs> we never have it as an introduction anymore. <laughs> so um, we'll go for half. We'll go through for halfway through now. 
<laughs> instead. Um, right, so this morning's music is, as promised on Saturday, um, beautiful, uh, enjoy. Uh, if you haven't got tissues already, you might want to grab some quite quick. Here we go. Where on earth did you find that one from? I don't know. I was just doing my random browsing again one day and I found it. Oh, it's really good. And then we were talking about, um, on Saturday, so Linda Phillips was talking about Edinburgh and how every time she gets off the train, she loves the fact that there's a bagpiper um, outside the station. Um, and so then we started talking about that. And then um, I'd said that I'd found that clip. Oh, no, she started talking about the tattoo. And then I said, well, I found this clip of Amazing Grace, at, um, the Berlin tattoo where uh it's a singer and then bagpipers but i didn't tell them how many bagpipers and i think it that just really builds because you've got the lovely singer when he does the first for first first that on its own is enough to go mm. wow then you yeah. get bagpiper and then as he gets towards the end of his verse you hear all the other bagpipers start up and it's just wow electrifying amazing beautiful yeah it it was it was so um absolutely love that and uh <clears throat> sorry i couldn't couldn't read or understand everything but it's quite nice when you see that there's people to create something like that there's people from all over the world and i did notice i'm sure it was something from moldova so um and i'm sure that there will have been other people from all over the world to mm. make that happen um, and we forget, don't we? We always think military to two. We think, yeah, that happens in Scotland, but we don't realise it goes on all over, doesn't it? Mm. So, um, yeah, we we just remember like the the most famous one to us in the UK. Um, so that was amazing. And mum came down the stairs just then. She's oh, I heard heard that, so I've just put my mum on. So hello, mum. Oh, hello, Jean. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed so, that. Yeah, I've just got to make her a quick cappuccino. I will be back in a minute. Okay. Uh, right. So let's um, catch up on that chat and then maybe we'll go to uh, Facebook. So uh, Brigitte, sorry, going back to the dripping, says dripping for roasting is okay. Um, uh, then the music started and she says she's got goosebumps already. Um, Helen says plaintive, isn't it? Um, Jackie says, beautiful. Georgie says, wow, that was very rousing. The singer has such a deep voice. He really did. Uh, and Amber says, that was lovely. Thank you. Uh, I'm so pleased that you enjoyed it as well. Um, now then, uh, I'm going to open Facebook and get it ready. But I think I might wait for Angela. Uh, to come back so do tell us what you were up to over the weekend um and uh what you've uh, finished or started um and um oh tracy says morning all sorry late had it issues good morning tracy don't worry you're never late uh and i'm sorry you had it issues um you have just missed a very late musical interlude though um which is what uh everyone's currently or the last set of chat is about so yes do folks let us know if you started a new project over the weekend if you finished another project uh and um oh welcome back there we go delivered and what <laughs> German gingerbread with chocolate. Oh, oh okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Ah, oh, right. Let me pick me. I nearly finished my cup of tea. I'm on to my Vimp tour now. Ah. Uh. Oh. Um, right. I said I was about to do Facebook. So uh, let me click into that. Because there's, uh, we haven't we haven't done Facebook since Saturday, so let's uh, see what's in there. Uh, so here it is. I alluded to it earlier on. Um, this is the sculpture that I was talking about. And basically, what they do is they take 
piece of art and stretch it and slightly I put a slight round on it and then they put a column a mirrored column in front of it so that you can see um this is the before the stretched frog and then this is the after in the looking back at you in the mirror oh. so um and this gallery was just beautiful it's called the eden gallery very expensive i've heard of that one yeah, nothing had a price. <laughs> <laughs> even on their even on their website, it says, "Please contact for more information." No prices, <laughs> so we're going to go with very expensive. But we saw some very lovely things in there. So many different interpretations of different things. Um, so yes, it was very very nice. Was it expensive uh, to go in? The gallery. Oh no, it was free to go in. So another thing for all the goggle frogs, if we ever have a couple of hours, brilliant. Eden Gallery. Oh, no, sorry. It's not a gallery as in a, a museum-type gallery. It's a gallery as in it's a picture gallery that sells art. Oh, sorry. Right, okay. okay. That's that, uh, and that's why I was saying nothing was priced, right, okay. so you can imagine that it was very expensive. So shop-type gallery. That's yes. fine. Thank you very much. Yes. And it was on um, New Bond Street, and there were four of them in a row. And we went into the first one, which was this one. But then we looked at the second one from the outside. And then by the time we got to the third one, we were like, yeah, okay, we've had enough now. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because they were getting more boring as they went on. I'm glad we didn't walk the other way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, uh, Dawn says, this is the cross-stitch that she mentioned this morning. That was on Saturday's facebook room um and it's called the passion of the dance oh. and it says handmade by grandma for rebecca on her eighth birthday august 2005 oh, wow. uh, and then oh uh in the middle of walking around london uh we found this haberdashery and I wasn't paying attention. I was looking straight ahead at where we were going uh, and to make sure we were in the right road. And as I was about to say to him, say to him, oh, yes, look, that's the road name. That's where we need to be. He says to me, oh, look, Robert, wall. And I immediately went over and he went, go on, go in. Uh, and then I called him in from outside because I found this gorgeous, absolutely stunning orange 100% cashmere wall. Uh, drill, 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 drill. It was absolute drill. So I know he was outside <laughs> looking at his phone and I knocked on the window and he completely ignored me. And then the, uh, there was a man stood next to him who <laughs> said to him afterwards, I think he wants you to go in. <laughs> <laughs> and I got him to fill this wall and he went, oh my God, that's beautiful. So for Gary to say, oh my God, it's beautiful. It must have been. Yeah. Uh, but yes, it came out with no purchases. So it, I have enough. Yeah. Do you know what? That that's what I feel a lot of the time. Like I've got enough. I've got enough. But every so often, there's something that you just think got to have, got to have, got to have. Um, so I'm sure it will be next time you're in London. If you happen to go past and it's there. It's going to speak to you for the second time. <laughs> yeah, and 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 they had these lovely. You can just see them in the window there. These are sheep, and they have um, ridges in them to put the wool in. Oh. I thought they were lovely displays. You can see them in the door there as yeah. well. Um, yeah, beautiful displays. So uh, lots of people commenting on they're going to have to go there or they've been there. Yeah. Um, Dawn has posted this from Starcraft Yarns. Steam Team Starcraft have really fallen for the sleeveless slipover trend, and it's likely a few of the smoke and euchre versions in our new recycled uh, recycled yarn. Um, so yes, they look very nice. Do you know what that inspired me as well? And I thought, um, I think I might do. This is the the updated tank top, isn't it? Um, so I, I think I might do one because then you don't have to do the arms. And you don't have to sew the arms on. So you can do them a lot quicker. And actually, a cabled front just looks incredible. Um, no. So I did, they, they've really given me inspiration as well. So thank you, Dawn. So who else is going to be doing a little um, tank top or modern day tank top? 
um, over the over uh, the winter months. Um, yeah. Um, Dawn mentioned this band on Saturday, Sam Sweeney stepping down the road. Um, so she's posted uh, a YouTube video. Mm -hmm. Um, and this was what inspired Adrian to learn the violin, apparently. Really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, Georgie says, true friendship is when someone helps you untangle your yarn. And I was waiting and waiting and waiting. And then all of a sudden, along came Angela with Robert. <laughs> 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 oh dear uh, Georgie shared this lovely blanket look at that it's gorgeous isn't Although, it to be fair I, I think if I had something that nice I'd wear it as a cape like she is mm. yeah yeah but do you know what wouldn't it look uh, amazing if somebody was having an alternative wedding with colour definitely <clears throat> Um, Linda, after last, uh, Saturday before last, posted a picture of her fixed toes. So she put in her safety line and then she pulled them back and redid them as double. Wow. Uh, to fix them. Uh, do, 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 do. And then I think we're going back to what we've already seen. So Dawn shared that. That's the festive bundle from Starcraft Yarn. Yeah, they're great colours. Really good colours. Cute, There's cute, cute. Linda's cute. finished Santas that we saw on Saturday as well. Uh, and they now have stands. Yay. Uh, and then, yes, I think we yeah. are back to Wednesday. So there we go. Fab. Um. So Louise says, uh, Brigitte says, I love Le Buchen. Now, I, I know what you're talking about now, and I don't like ginger because it gives me acid, but I can eat Le Buchen. None of us know how to pronounce it. Please help us, Brigitte. But... <laughs> It's not that strong, and I really do actually quite like it. Uh, Louise says, you are very strange, Robert. I've bookmarked that shop to visit when we finally make it to London again. Yeah. Uh, Helen says she thinks she might have to do a tank top but make a long version. Oh, I'm thinking I will idea. do it more of um, – so I won't sew up the bottom. So it's more of a um, – it, it's not like a fitted tank top. It's one that will um, flow. If you know what I mean, so just have it like um, un unfastened at the sides, um, yeah. So what what would you call it? it it's not quite a, um, but just have it a, a bit looser fitting. But I know what you mean. Or I'll, I'll do something a bit different in terms of the welt. Does anyone else call it a welt? No. Is that another, I just realised, and you know when you go to say words and you suddenly realise you've been living in the South for so long now, uh, that there's certain terms that I think were either Yorkshire or Northern. So the rib around the bottom, we used to call the welt. So It's a bit like your arms. Uh, it is, isn't it, in the arms? So let me know if anybody else calls the bottom um, bit around the bottom um, a welt. So I think it's. Uh, Jackie says she's got to go see you Wednesday. Uh, bye, Jackie. Bye, bye. Uh, Safi says, Oh, that's the blanket I'm about to start for my second daughter. Oh, wow. Oh, Safi, you must post yeah. pictures as you go. Can't wait. That's going to be stunning. Uh, and Brigitte says it's pronounced Leb Chu Chen. Leb. The CH is a bit like a double L in, uh, in Welsh. In Welsh. <laughs> Le Kuchen. Is that right? So it's Ku. 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 Yes. Le Kuchen. Thank you very much. Is that right? Or are we still sounding like numpties? <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? We, we, we go and it's like because we don't understand the, um, the rules around pronunciation in different languages we often make uh, make a little bit of a hash of it but it's fine 
Um, <laughs> thank you. And I can't believe, can I just say, I w I know none of the rules about the Welsh language and how you pronounce it, even though some of my families are from Wales. Brigitte knows that too. Brigitte knows so much about language, pronunciation, grammar. She is our go-to person for everything. Language, rules, grammar. Thank you. She was She was a language teacher, though. Ah, yeah, I suppose so, yeah. I think. I'm sure she's told us before she was a language teacher. Leb. The leb is a bit of a long E, as there is only consonant following the vowel. Oh, my word. I don't understand all of these rules. Uh, honestly, I find it incredible how much you, like, you tell me stuff that I didn't even know. And I've been speaking this language, well, my own version of this language, <laughs> i.e. Northern, um, all my life. I, I, I'm just amazed. Um, yeah, thank you. Amber says, thank you, everyone, for a wonderful start to the week. We hope Princess Curtain Crusher loved it too. Um, Helen says she's listening and watching whilst doing the washing up. Oh, no, her dishwasher blew up. I hope you're going to be able to replace the dishwasher. And I no, hope it didn't do any damage. But um, as I've not had a dishwasher since I've moved into this house, because my kitchen is too small, um, I'm waiting for the day when our extension is done. <laughs> and Brigitte says only one consonant. Sorry, my brain is not working properly this morning. Brigitte, my brain would never work like that. So uh, you're doing so well. Thank you very much. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, right. I'm going to do one. I start one more row. Um, yeah. Do you know what? There is something quite amazing about using acrylic. Um when you look and you think the colours that you can get out of acrylic wool is absolutely incredible in comparison because you can have like when when you said um like sorry what what wool was it that you the orange wool that you felt in that shop it was cashmere, cashmere. So if you say, I want cashmere, I want that colour, you, you just can't do it a lot of the time. Or if you want anything with silk in it, you cannot get a strong colour because everything's really um, light. But when you when you just look at the amazing colours that you can get out of acrylic, it's just absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, doesn't feel the same as some of, as some of the other stuff, but um, absolutely incredible colours. If I'm doing it again, two, four, six, eight... I've cast on three too many. Thankfully, Helen says, no damage, just electrical burning smells. New one's coming on Wednesday. So that's perfect. So you know what's going to happen on Wednesday. It's just going to be on, off, on, off, on, off. Oh, we've got four glasses. Let's just put it on again. You always do that when you've got a new machine, don't you? You just think I've just got to play with it a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> Oh. oh dear right well it's nearly 11 o'clock already oh my word i haven't even i'll have a sip out of my goggle frog's mug it's nearly <coughs> cold now um right folks so whatever you are up to for the rest of today and tomorrow have a lovely time and we will see you wednesday evening uh when you definitely have me are you around Wednesday evening? I am, yes. I'm in Leeds tomorrow night. Tomorrow, um, um, back late, and I am here on Wednesday. Yes, definitely. And uh, maybe Mariam will join us yeah. as well, in which case you'll have all three Sorry, of us. Sorry, Saturday. Can I just double do I can't make Saturday. I'm doing Saturday. Yay! So don't worry, you will have we might, we, Well, what we might do is, because Saturday numbers are getting smaller, is we might do just use Saturdays as Facebook. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, and I want to try something different with the Facebook room on Saturday because I think you can broadcast it, uh, which might make it easier going forward. Yeah, so for we us. will. Um, if I can make it, I will, but I, I just don't think I'm here. 
Um, so, yeah, if I can jump on, I will. All right. Okie dokie. Right, folks, whatever you're up to, have a lovely week and we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye. Bye.